we have highlighted one of the key issues of the current globalization process, the diverging economic trajectories of people in the old rich world versus those in resurgent Asia. In short, the great winners have been the Asian poor and middle classes, the great losers, the lower middle classes of the rich world. Such a bold statement may not surprise many people today, but it would certainly have been surprising to many if it had been made in the late 1980s. Politicians in the West who pushed for greater reliance on markets in their own economies could hardly have expected that the much vaunted globalization would fail to deliver palpable benefits to the majority of the citizens. And it would appear even more surprising to those, including the Nobel Prize winning economist Gunnar Myrdal, who worried in the late 1960s that the Asian masses would remain mired in perpetual poverty. Instead of the Asian drama, which was the title of Myrdal's book, we hear today about the East Asian miracle, the Chinese dream, and shining India, all coined to parallel the American dream and the German Wirtschaftswunder. I point to this example here, very early in the book, to highlight the difficulties that beset any long-run forecasting of economic development, particularly on a global scale.